trying to change up coffee with Kenny every once in a while. I thought you all missed Mr. Gutterman. There'll be a day I'll fix that. So, uh, really didn't think I had a coffee with Kenny and wasn't trying to push that at all. You know, when I just said that, you know what I was thinking about? I'll never forget when I was working with Larry McReynolds. Larry Mac Reynolds. Larry Mac says, uh, Herman, I like you. I said, Larry, why you like me? He says, because you don't have an agenda. All these other, I was going to say stupid asses, but I didn't want to say that. They have agendas. And I said, what the hell's an agenda? I said, when, when somebody, be quiet, I'm doing a video. He ought to know better. <laughs> That's Chance. That's Brittany and Brody's dog. Uh, so anyway, an agenda, that's not a good thing. You can say, I have a nice agenda, meaning I have a goal. But nine times, I got to take these damn glasses off. It's, uh, I only have glasses on to, to read. Uh, they're 200s. So uh, an agenda usually is like, it's kind of a bad name. I have an agenda on, on I'm going to get his ass. You know, like I want his job. So in the NASCAR world, agendas are uh, not looked at as a good thing. I got an agenda. I'm going to get his ass fired. I'm going to get his sponsor. <laughs> so thank you, Larry Matt, for telling me you like me because I don't have an agenda. And that's true. Herm Raider takes care of himself. Now, I've had, I've had a handful of sponsors stolen from me. I was the one that went and got the sponsors. And I had the sponsors. And uh, he knows who he is. He tried making up for me. He, he tried, anyway, that's another story for another day. But anyway, um, I was scrolling, and I, I saw Megan Englehart. She works for uh, NASCAR on Fox. She's really good to me. I want to give a shout-out to Megan, because to this day, she helps the old Herminator if I need it. She does a real good job with my bio and things like that. Megan's in charge of PR at NASCAR on Fox. But anyway, she just uh, put on uh, X that um, nice little bump in NASCAR nowadays. Seems like we're, we have gained millions. So, hey, respond right here if I'm wrong. Uh, but it looks to me like we got about a million and a half more people watching these NASCAR races. What? Well, you hear what Wallace said? Yeah, I heard what I said. Respond right here. Straighten me out. Looks to me like we're dealing like over 4 million people watching these NASCAR races every week. We've already ran four NASCAR races. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at 4.6. These are big numbers. I mean, it, is, it, is it the Netflix effect? You know, I mean, it's kind of a joke, right? But really, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe you know, we've done these videos before, I know. Respond right here. Chew my ass out. I like my ass being chewed out every once in a while. Makes for good content. I guess, I guess I've given up. That's my strategy. Piss you off and make you respond. <laughs> it's not that I like arguing. I just like to hear what y'all got to say. Hey, I'm going to have those t Hey, Matt James, if you're watching this, let's get us a t-shirt made right, just like this. Here, I'm going to stand like this for a minute. And you take your picture. And then under here it says, respond right here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're not going to belabor the point. We're not going to try to get eight minutes for a YouTube show. This is a so social media show. Why are the TV numbers so big in NASCAR right now? We're looking at, you ever notice when I talk sometimes, I do like this? Coffee tongue. Do you get coffee tongue? Respond right here. <laughs> So anyway, or am I the only one that gets coffee tongue? Looks like shit tongue. <laughs> Man, I not believe that Wallace. Him crazy. So anyway, respond right here. Why are the NASCAR TV viewing numbers so big? Are they lying? Wouldn't that be against uh, the rules? You can't lie. You got to tell real numbers. So those numbers are real. 4.6 million, 4 million, 5 million, four straight weeks in a row. Respond right here. Why is NASCAR doing so good? 
And by the way, I'm going to have Ben Kennedy on Kenny Conversation. Been making my notes. Going to be good. Uh, I like Ben, by the way, because he's a racer. Had to quit racing to run NASCAR. All right, everybody. So, uh, agendas. Larry McReynolds says he likes me because I don't have an agenda. I don't have agendas. Says I'm a good guy. I agree with you, Larry. I'm a good person. Uh, one last shot at the old gutter. There you go. Gutter City, USA. I'm going to fix that one of these days. I don't know. Then, then there's no content. If, if I don't show the gutter, there's nothing for you all to bitch about. So, uh, hey, how about my new trees? I pound it. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Five new trees. Because when they knocked that mountain down right there, when they knocked that mountain down, my home came exposed. When they come around that road, they, their lights shine right in my house. So I put up some Christmas trees. All right, then. Why are the NASCAR TV numbers so big nowadays? Why is NASCAR successful? Boy, I haven't heard that in a while. I think I'm going to tag Megan Englehart right here. Did you make it? to six minutes and 20 seconds. Are, are you tweaking?